everybody welcome back to the channel today I am going to make a scrappy wreath and what that is is you know how you'll make several different wreaths and you have like a half a roll of this a quarter of a roll of that you know an eighth of a roll of this a little bit of ribbon here a little bit of ribbon there basically you make wreaths and this is your leftover instead of you opening up a new pack of mesh each time you want to make a wreath I'm going to show you how to gather up some scraps basically partial rolls of mesh and make a whole wreath out of it I'm also going to be using different ribbons where I only have a little bit of this a little bit of that to uh, make different kinds of bundles and to make a bow so this purple here, I had about, I think, a half a roll of this. And I had used this to make my wreath for my amethyst bloom when I was setting up at craft shows during the holidays. So this is 21 inch ombre purple. This is one of the first things I got from uh, the antique mall. I had just went there, saw it, and I just bought a few of them. This is before I start buying everything they had each time I went <laughs> so I'll be using this I had a little bit left I've been cutting these in about 13 inches uh, and this is 21 inch mesh and I also have some leftover that my sister used last week when she made her an Easter brief this is like a burlap kind of tan colored mesh I also have some white that I have left over from some Easter wreaths that I made and cross wreaths. I may or may not use this. I have some purple Chanel stems. I'm gonna use this to go around my frame. I'm also gonna use this sign so pretty. I have a purple one and a pink one. I'm gonna use this purple one. I got this at Dollar Tree. And then I have different kinds of white and burlap colored and purple colored uh, ribbons. I don't know which ones I'm gonna use. These are all partial, um, maybe just a little bit left on the spools, but this is a partial. But I'm going to see what I can make happen with that. So let me grab my wreath frame. And of course I'm going to be using my 14 inch wreath frame that I got from Dollar Tree. So. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I don't really use the 21 inch mesh. I saw a video uh, when I first started trying to practice on how to make wreaths on the 21 inch. So I was like, let me see if I can, you know, at least do a base with the purple. And this was so pretty. I love purple. Purple and pinks are my colors, y'all. So y'all see a ton of purple and pink. Those are my colors. So I've got this. I cut it in 13 inch strips well 13 inch it's a strip but it curls up since this is the last little bit I think I can make maybe two more cuts out of it I have these so far this is probably about 10 I'm gonna try to make a couple more out of this I'm going to basically wing it we're gonna see how this turns out together and it is what it is so <laughs> let me finish up cutting this and when I finish cutting this I'm going to use this one for the poof method just one time around the outside of the wreath base and then this I'm gonna use this for the curling poof method to you know put in between there but we're gonna see how this turn out be right back let me finish this too now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make eight inch poops and I'm gonna go all the way around the outside two bars here so let me go ahead and add my Chanel stems first and then I'll be right back okay I have 18 Chanel stems three per section there's six sections so that's 18 Chanel stems on here I have two per section on the top and one at the bottom so on the top two rows I have one here and one here and then I have 
one on the third and fourth wire frame here. So now what I'm going to do is make my eight inch bubbles all the way around. So. Let's see if I have enough. Okay, right over here, I ran out of mesh. So what I'm going to do is I think I may just angle my truck over this little section so you won't even see it. So what I'm gonna do now is point these straight up because I will be using these for my bundles and this is going to be a really simple wreath I'm just going to have uh, a few bundles a bow and my uh, my picture so Left these out a wee bit. It's right there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my mesh up. A little tight but not too tight curl it up and then I'm gonna go down about five inches right here and then I'm going to add it right here so and then on this end here about five inches and I'm going to add it to right here show you another one and then I'm going to speed up the video curl this up and measure about five inches down this right here tighten it up And then on the other end, about five inches, right here. And I'm gonna add it 
to this one right here. So I'll have two curls in this one. And let me go ahead and speed it up. Open up the purple poofs a little bit and let's see how that looks. this purple I'm noticing is it frays a lot so this is the base so far over here on this side is where I just twisted it up where did I put it right here right here is where I started and ended the tan mesh so Right there is where I'm going to add my sign. So, got the mesh. Now, what I'm going to do is see how many bundles I can make with the scraps that I have. So, if you have a little bit of this, that, and the other, and you want to make a bow, see how much you have. Unroll the whole thing. And then you can see what you're working with. So what I'm going to do is cut this. And I'm using this for my bow. So that's one strip for my bow. I'm cutting the rest of it at seven inches each for my bundles. So this one. Sixteen inches. And get some white. So my bow is going to be burlap, colored, white, and purple.
Okay, this is what I have. I have three sheer seven inches. I have three white seven inches. Three burlap seven inches. Three burlap white. And three purple. And one with the ruffles. And then for my bow, I have two purple. And then one of each of the other ones. So, first thing I'm gonna do is dovetail my bundles, and then I'm gonna dovetail my ribbon. So, let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Camera magic. Ta da! Okay, I have all of my little bundles here dovetailed. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place my bundles around my wreath and this should make me 12 bundles so I'm just gonna do um, two of them per little Chanel stem so I am thinking you know what I'm extra I'm gonna do three with the sheer one and I'm gonna do two with the purple and the burlap. So what I'm gonna do is, this is roughly the middle, scrunch it up, and then just add that right here. snippers and I'm going to do that right there. Let me go around to this one right here and I'm going to add a purple and the burlap right here. This is roughly the middle. I'm gonna put the sign so these two I'm going to skip and then I'm gonna go right on over to this one here this is the middle just about you can always measure it and fold it and all that good stuff, but uh, close enough. I just mix them up. I'm have a purple with the burlap, or then I might do the burlap, the purple on the bottom.
line is gonna go right here. And then my bow, I'm going to put my bow up here. So let me go ahead and zoom out and show y'all how I do my bow. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is get my ribbon here and go down 11. Then I'm gonna fold it to the 11 mark right there and then go up to the 10 on your ruler which is five inch loops and then right there put it in between your fingers so I wanted to have about a five inch loop so I'm gonna grab my next piece do the same thing make sure the right side is facing up so I go down to the 11 mark fold it over go up to the 10 and then Squish it together and then I put it right in between there and I'm gonna do this for all of them so since it doesn't matter which side on this one but the natural curl is this way I'm gonna go down to the 11 11 inch mark go up to the 10 and squish it and then I'm gonna put it right here And then for the purple, same thing. Go down to the 11 inch, go up to 10, squish it. Go down to the 11, fold it. Go up to 10, squish. Go ahead and you can add your zip tie just like this but make sure not to do it too tight because you need to slot your Chanel stem inside there so you'll be able to attach it to the wreath frame you go ahead and And then what you do is you slide your Chanel stem in there before you tighten it up remember this because every time I do this I forget <laughs> and you just tighten it up and then after that you snip off fluff it out. So let me go ahead and fluff this out for you. Here's my bow. And I'm going to go ahead and mount my sign. So what I did was I just added a little hot glue, uh, Gorilla's hot glue in the middle here, the Chanel stem and added a piece of ribbon to it. So what I'm going to do is chop down these Chanel stems. I'm through with all of these. Put my son right here. 
right here. So what I'm going to do is just fish it through and the middle two. to add my bow. So I'm going to fish it through these middle two right here. Fluff out my bow a little bit more. This is just a mini bow. And now let me move it to give y'all a better view. Okay, everybody, here it is. Here's a close up. There's my little mini bow. The loops are just about five inches. And all I use with this is leftover ribbon mesh and a sign from Dollar Tree in a 14 inch frame. So if you have a ton of leftover mesh and ribbon where you've made projects before and you just have a little bit of this and that, put it together and make a wreath. Or you can make a, a door swag or centerpiece or whatever. Just use it up because money is tight and I was getting tired of running to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and um, Joann's looking for mesh. I know I have a ton of mesh now that I have at a deal, but I'm trying to make this mesh stretch. I'm trying to make this ribbon stretch. And if you have some materials that can be used to make a whole new wreath, put it together and make a wreath. So this is all I have today. This is what I call a scrappy wreath because all I used was leftover mesh and ribbon from previous projects. So if y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I know, shameless plug, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.